Hey, Will here with Event Stable, and I'm back with another video. So I thought today I would talk about pipe and drape. Pipe and drape is something that I really like because it's so versatile. It doesn't take up very much room in your rental inventory or even at your event venue. I just thought it would be helpful to put something together to show you what the components of pipe and drape are, how to put it together, just a few things to think about, and just give you some ideas on how you can use this stuff. Rental companies can use this for all sorts of stuff and rental companies should absolutely think about keeping pipe and drape in their inventory. They can use it for separating the catering station. You can use it for wedding backdrops. You can use it for wedding arches, things for people to get married underneath. Another great reason for pipe and drape for rental companies, it's good off-season income. So for example, in the wintertime, that's when a lot of trade shows take place a lot of conventions, bridal shows, things like that. So something to consider for rental companies. Venues are no different. Pipe and drape can be a great way to separate or hide things from, you know, from your guests, from those, those mothers of the bride who are very, very particular. Okay, so basically there are four main components to a pipe and drape setup. There are of course little accessories. You can get bags, storage bags, valance hangers, clips and stuff like that. But for the majority of pipe and drape setups, you're going to have four different items. First is the upright. The one I'm holding is eight feet tall. It is what we call a fixed height upright. It has these little notches cut out of the top. That is to accept the next component, which is called the drape support. So it has these hooks on the end. Most of them are adjustable between six, whoop, should put that behind me so it makes me look like I'm taller than six feet. Six and 10 feet. Most trade shows are going to be 10 by 10 booths. And it's got these little pop lock guys. The base, the component that none of this would work without, you've got your base plate. It is comprised of two components, your base plate and then a pin. This little guy, the pin, screws into the base. The part that protrudes goes inside the pin and then you just screw from the other side. There we go. Okay, so you're gonna notice that the base plates have these cutouts and that is for when you store these guys, they just save a little bit of storage space. Okay, so finally, the last component, of course, of pipe and drape, the drape. One thing to point out about drape is that you're going to have a four inch or so pocket on either end. And all that's for is to accept the drape support so you can hang this stuff. All right, and then as far as material goes, you're gonna have all different types of material for this stuff. You've got velours and satins and uh, sheer drape and polyester. We do a poly premiere that's really popular, probably the most common thing um, for trade shows outside of like our banjo material that has that texture to it but basically you just choose the type of fabric that you need based on the color availability, the amount of light that you need to block, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And now that you know about the pieces, let's do a sample setup. Okay, so we're just gonna set up a, a, a 10 foot wide section of pipe and drape. And to start, you just want to drop your bases. Like I said, I'm gonna do 10 feet wide, so I'm just gonna kind of walk off 10 feet. Next step is the uprights. Basically we have a fixed height upright and then an adjustable height upright. The one I have here is extends up to 10 feet. <laughs> All right, for this one though, I'm just gonna use my trusty eight foot fixed height backdrop. And so, as I mentioned before, you're gonna have cutouts on one end and then you're gonna see cutouts about three feet up in the middle. What you wanna do is the cutouts that are on the end go at the top. The cutouts that are in the middle are for drape supports for uh, a three foot high section that might go in between a trade show booth. And then all you do is slide the upright over the pin portion of the base for a nice tight fit. And for now, I'm gonna do that same thing on the other side. All right, next step is grab your drape support. I'm gonna get this ready to go at 10 feet. And then from here, all you have to do is find one end of your drape, and then just feed the drape support through the pocket and grab my other one. 
pay attention because some of the drape fabric is one-sided. So, you know, this, this velour stuff clearly has a front and a back, and I just want to orient it the same way every time when I put it up there. I had three pieces of this red velour drape um, because these pieces are 60 inches wide. In order to get the right look, I want to use three pieces of 60 inch fabric per 10 foot section. I don't know what I did with the other one, so since I don't have an event to set up, I'm going to make this sample just a little bit shorter. Okay, so now since I only have two, I've got this set for eight feet. All right, next step, you just wanna reach up and hook your drape support to the top of your upright. And then this ends up sometimes being a tricky step for people, but what I like to do is just grab, pull out the pole or the upright, connect, and then put the upright back on the base. And there we have it. Pretty simple setup. Start with your bases, set those in place, put down your uprights, fish your drape supports through the drapes themselves, and then set everything up. Use the tools you have at your disposal to pull the upright down, connect it to the drape support, and then throw it back up. All right, so I hope that helped, because pipe and drape, like I said, there's just a lot of stuff you can do with pipe and drape. It's amazing what you can do and how you can change the look of a room, the feel of a room, and, uh, and, and the feel of an event. So good luck with this stuff. If you have any questions, you know you can always reach out to us at Event Stable. And always, thanks for watching. Here we go. We're recording? How do I know? Boom! <laughs> <sighs>